The chairman, board of trustees of the People's Democratic Party, Senator Amin Owali, arrives at the Benue Governor's Lodge to meet with Governor Samuel Otom, who is tasked with reconciling aggrieved members from the North Central States. As both leaders make their way into the conference hall, discussion on how to reposition the party ahead of 2023 tops the agenda, which participants from Niger and the FCT speak on. I crave the indulgence of the governor because of how passionate he is in PDP, that after Congress is all over, he should find time to look into the issue state by state so that we'll come together to be able to capture power in 2023. Because you and I know that APC government has failed, both at national and state levels. There must be continuous consultation, reach out with a view to putting everybody on the round table and find out what were the issues that brought about failure? What were the issues that brought about problems? What have you to solving them? A major concern at the meeting is the dissolution of caretaker committees in Niger, Plateau and Nasarawa states for inclusive arrangement that will galvanize the party as Benue remains the only PDP-controlled state in the region. Addressing journalists at the sidelines of the meeting, a former military administrator of Benue state, and the incumbent governor says the failure of the APC-led federal government has provided the PDP the opportunity to reclaim power at the center come 2023. Everybody knows that the APC government has failed and they are waiting for a very cohesive PDP government and that's what we are working hard for. Well, as you can see, all the three states Nasarawa, Plateau, and Niger, you can see them going out laughing and exchanging pleasantries. And all the three meetings, all the issues that were there, we have resolved them. And uh, thank God for the grace. And uh, the people are happy. We were fair. We ensured justice for all on all sides. The issues of state working committees in the states of Niger, Plateau, Nasarawa have all been put to rest as members now agree to work for a united goal that will return the party to power at the federal level in the year 2023.